Welcome to a tour of the redesigned pads install program. I'm going to take you through a typical install and what I mean by typical is I'll be installing on a machine where the licensing has already been configured and possibly running for an older version of pads and also I'll be accepting the default options for the target location and for the pads projects directory. And the first thing you'll notice here is I have the download all ready to go on my desktop. It's the pads 9.3 underscore MIB dot EXE. Now MIB stands for Mentor Install Bundle. And that's exactly what this is. It's an installation bundle. This one executable contains all of the files that the installation needs to complete. Now before I actually double click to start the install, I wanted to point out that if you have a Windows Vista or Windows 7 machine and you have the user account control turned on, also known as UAC, that you may see a delay when you double click the executable and when you see the UAC prompt appear. The reason for that is Windows has to scan that file before the prompt appears. So if you have this executable on a network location or maybe on the DVD drive and you're finding that it takes a long time for the UAC prompt to appear, we recommend that you copy the executable to your local hard drive and you execute it from there. So I'm going to go ahead and double click and first it unpacks the install program and up comes the first dialog. This is the hardware key dialog and it's telling us that if, if we have a hardware key that we're going to use for licensing that we should have it plugged in now. So if you don't have your key plugged in go ahead and plug it in now and if you do see any Windows dialogs uh, saying it's detected new hardware and asking you know what you should do go ahead and click cancel to dismiss those dialogs and the reason for that is the installation program will tell you or ask you um, whether to load drivers later on in the install process and so what we're going to do is we're going to click the next button and just after I release this button it's going to do a real quick license check to see if there are current licenses detected and here we are at the welcome to pads installation dialog and up there as you can see it says current license detected so that means that that quick check was successful and so that means that the default flow of clicking next will bypass the licensing and take us further along with our installation now if you do want to go and add a licensing configuration you know maybe you have a new license server with some additional options you could click licensing to do so and before I click next I want to point out a couple of items on this dialogue the first is the help button in this new version of the install program there is a help button on almost every dialogue and that will bring up the installation documentation to help you through the whole process and also we have the view readme link go ahead and open this and it doesn't look a whole lot different to the older readmes but let me just take you through it you've got the release highlights and the release notes nothing new there but here is a new document the auto run transition document now as you may have already noticed there was no auto run with this install and that's intended and the auto run is no longer being delivered so this document helps you to find some of the install programs and other documentation um, in this new version of the install. And we scroll down and you'll see we have the installation instructions and the licensing uh, documents. So let's go ahead and click next. And here we have the license agreement. Let's go ahead and click agree. And up comes the confirm installation choices. This is a very important dialogue, so let me take you through the main points. First, we have installing the following products to, and this is the installation target location, C Mentor Graphics. This is the default location, 
and this is the recommended location. We have the release, pads 9.3 in this case, and then we have the products. Now the products are listed here either because we selected those in a prior install or because the installation program detected that we have licenses for these. So these are the recommended products that we should install. And further down here we have pads projects, we have the default C pads projects, and then we have the space required and the space available. Now if we'd like to change the target location, the products that we're installing, or the pads projects directory, we can click the modify button. But because we're doing a typical install, we're not going to change any of those. And let's click the install button. Now at this point, the install program goes away and it's going to come back shortly and it's going to be loading all the necessary files in order to complete the installation. Now since this is going to take quite a while, I'll go ahead and jump ahead to the end of the install. And it's the pads installation complete. And here we can either register via the internet, via email, or at a later time. And again, we have another link to the view readme. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and click at a later time and click done to exit the installation program. Thank you. That's the end of a typical install.